We in Africa are not allowed to speak our language in our school systems. Yeah, it's predominantly English. All right, you got to speak. Haven't they switched it? You yeah. got to speak English or you're dumb. Mm -hmm. So because of this reason, no books brought on the continent are translated in our dialect. The only books that gets translated in our local palette is the religious books. It's only the religious book that has various versions in the African languages. In Yoruba, in Hausa, in, in, in the Bani, in the Gati. Psychologically, mm. they are telling you the only book they need you to understand is the religious books, and that's it. Mm, exactly. They systematically ensure that you only read the books that your saviors wrote for you in your direct language so you can fully understand the sayings of your savior. Mm -hmm. Question, why were the science books never translated in Adoko Dali? Across the African belt, you will never find a single school that has a science book in their own dialect. And, and you will think about it. We know the herbs, right? But when they are writing books on herbs, they don't write it in our language. When you go to any other country, right? The Chinese have science books in Chinese, have mm -hmm. math books in Chinese, have engineering books in Chinese. The Russians have all the school books in their language, right? The Swiss have their school books in their language. The French mm -hmm. have the school books in their language. The Portuguese mm -hmm. have the school books in their language. Right? The Japanese have the, the Indonesians, the Indians, they all have their books in their language. But just the mm -hmm. black African, we don't have anything in our language. What is that telling you? They want you to ensure that you never learn outside religion. To keep you doctrinated, keep you dumbed down, keep you suppressed, and keep you under their rule. When you come to the continent and you go to all the churches, all the, all the mega churches around the continent, right? Mm -hmm. Each pastor has got an interpreter, right? Who the main pastor is preaching mm -hmm. English, right? And the interpreter mm -hmm. in the church is translating what the pastor is saying into the local dialect so that the congregation would in detail hear exactly what the God of the Bible is saying. Mm hmm exactly. Yes, all right, exactly. School. Yeah. They preach in Absolutely. English, but they translate it in our local dialect. When they are doing right. their crusades in our villages, they preach in English, they translate it in their local dialect. When they are everything about religion, when they are evangelizing, the white people, right, go to our villages to evangelize to them, and they have translators who will translate what the white people are saying. Okay, good. Exactly. They want to understand God's word. Okay. Why is it that when the African teacher is teaching in the schools, they don't have translators in the classroom translating what the teacher is saying in English so that everybody in the classroom could understand the science they are teaching? Wow. Why don't they have translations in the math lectures? All our universities, right? It, it's sad. All our universities don't speak any of our local dialects in the universities. They don't teach in them. But you go to China, and before Chinese allow you into their countries, they say it's compulsory to learn what Mandarin, right? To learn their language. Before you can go, you can go and study. I have a nephew who went to study medicine in China, and they wouldn't give him a certificate until he passed the Chinese language. They wouldn't give him a certificate, but they don't care what he did. The holy how, they're gonna give you a certificate if you pass Mandarin. And I'm like, hmm. which of my ancestors spoke Chinese? Right. Why do I care about China and their language? Because mm -hmm. the Chinese are getting it. They understood for you to colonize a people, you need to get their tongue. You need to change their tongue, right? Yes, so the Chinese yes. are employing the same system that the Europeans did. The Arabs, there's a thing we call makaranta, right? Which the local people in Ghana, when they go to the Muslim, the mocks, they are forced to learn the Arabic language. Forced mm. on weekend classes, right? In my entire existence on the continent, 
I have never seen a school system that forced any child in our schools to learn any of our languages.